Hi, I'm Mike. This is the Film Lab here on thesubstream.com, and I am super freaking excited because today we get to talk about actual filmmaking equipment, real gear that we rented from our friends at Production Services here in Toronto. What we're going to talk about today is one of my favorite lamps, the thing that I loved to take off the back of the truck when I was working as a grip, an electric Kino Flow. They are absolutely great when you want a whole bunch of really soft, nice, even light, and you don't want to draw much power, and you might be working in confined spaces. So what do you get when you rent a Kino lamp? Well, first of all, there's a whole bunch of different sizes and configurations. There's two foot lamps, there's four foot lamps, and each one of them has a different number of bulbs. This is a two bulb, two foot lamp. Now I've kind of busted everything apart to show you. This is the head, and it's gonna come with a bunch of bulbs, this cool grid that works like a neutral density filter might work in any other lamp. The mounting plate, the head cable, and the ballast. So what you do is, we're going to stick tungsten bulbs in here, is you just snap them in to the holder like this. And then you attach these clips. One of them is short and one of them is long. And the short one goes to the nearest bulb. So you clip them in, and you should have this little dongle over here, which is where the head cable attaches. So you take the side, the female side of the cable, which goes into the male side of the head, and you put it together like so, and screw it closed. Anyways, it's the same thing over here, where you take the male end of the cable into the female receptacle, like they're having sex, on the ballast. And you screw it till it's secure. Then you close up the barn door baby, and put on the mounting plate. Now this thing works. It's got this little thing in the middle that goes in that little hole, and it kind of goes like this, and you're going to make the whole thing go like that. So you pull this pin up, the release pin, find the thing in the middle till it goes in, go put it in an angle, let that go down, spin it, that pops down and it locks into place. And you heave it all on up into the air. Put it on your C-stand, open it up wide to the world, and you hit power on the ballast. Watch your eyes striking. It also comes with this grid looking thing, which Velcros itself on to here. It also works like a neutral density filter and lessens the amount of light that's coming through. And these things always, always, always get lost. And you're going to get in big trouble if you don't include them back in the package when you return them. I bet these things get lost or broken more than anything else almost in a grip lighting package, so be careful. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to flip it around. It's going to cause me to really blow up because of the exposure setting we're using on the camera. Then we're going to cut and magically in the next shot I'm going to be exposed properly because we're going to change the setting on the camera. So I'm standing basically within 12 inches of this thing, and I'm doing that for one reason. Remember what I was saying before about these things being good for use in tight, confined spaces? It's not just because they're lightweight and you can tape them to stuff and they're portable. It's also because they produce no heat. If this was a thousand watt tungsten bulb, my head would actually be on fire right now. I would die. You couldn't put a lamp this close to somebody without murdering them, and then you would go to jail for murder. This thing isn't hot at all, I'm not exaggerating. You couldn't make toast on this thing if you put a piece of bread on it for nine and a half hours. And it's also dead quiet. Makes no noise whatsoever. They're just cool, quiet chunks of soft light that you can put within a couple of feet of an actor's head or of an interview subject's head and not freak them out. They're also relatively cheap. We rented this one for like 150 bucks Canadian for a day. If you're shooting a bunch of interviews, you're going to get a bunch of stuff done in a location in a day. These things are really cost effective and really work really well. 